Well, schools looking to add new equipment to their science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM programs, often hit a financial wall. As Mel Meyer reports from Pillager, one area company is looking to expand into this business while providing new opportunities for students. The idea started with Mary Clam, the then superintendent of Monaga Schools, who saw how North Dakota schools took STEM equipment and rotated it around their schools. She brought this to the National Joint Powers Alliance in Staples for its annual innovation funding. She brought it to the board, the NGPA's advisory board, and said, this is kind of what I'm thinking about, this is an idea. They approved it. Now Alicia Green leads the charge for Technology Mobile, a high-tech library of sorts where schools pay to be part of the program and then are able to check out the high-tech equipment when need be. A small price to pay when this laser printer costs $20,000. To purchase something like that for the school it's a huge investment for them when they have never even used it before. Since starting in 2015, the amount of schools jumping on board has grown from three to eight, and next year there will be 15 taking out equipment like laser and 3D printers, robotic Legos, and more. This is one they did on the printers. Not all of the equipment is able to be so easily moved about. Central Lakes College is one of the funders for the endeavor and allows outside students to come in to use their UV printer. So my students have been able to create stuff here and then go in and work with the graphic arts department there to be able to actually print their products. Students at the high school level have been able to create glass etching, printed photos with gloss and a rattle toy. Like anything new, it's been a work in progress. Like learning, it's a lot of trial and error. You just kind of see what works and you kind of try to pe uh, press the boundary what works. But having the opportunity to make those mistakes has made students hungry for more. Oh, I think it's great. I think uh, there should be a class that we have that we just use these machines. And the teachers couldn't be happier. In Pillager, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. This year, the National Joint Powers Alliance will rank and select its innovative funding awarded projects on June 1st at its campus in Staples. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.